It's Don here from the board. Thanks for coming along and checking out this video. Uh, it's been a little while actually since I've done a new video and any other videos that you might see that will be released after this have been shot before this. So just ignore the fact that I have a lot more facial hair uh, than later videos. <laughs> if you've been following the podcast, you'll know that I've been spending a lot of time doing stuff on the house which is why I haven't been shooting any new content uh, and I've also just been releasing a lot of the ASMR stuff that I've pre uh, done but today's really exciting because this is months and months of waiting for a keycap uh, one of the few keycaps that I've actually you know bought and it is the snag cap so the Australian mechanical keyboard uh, discord ran a competition a while back and we picked the winner and we had that keycap produced by Hibby and it's arrived now it's actually it's been uh, like almost two weeks since it actually arrived but I just haven't had time and opportunity to film so I'm opening it now there's probably already pictures of it floating around in other places but you know what who cares it doesn't matter I'm gonna check it out firsthand and I also want to show off something that uh, a friend of mine made which is also really cool it's related and and you'll see kind of why in a moment so let's just head on down to the desktop <clears throat> okay so here's the box uh, it's sealed this is from the keyboard treehouse okay uh, because they were the ones kind enough to actually run the buy for the keycap made by Hibby uh, I sort of had a bit of a laugh and a joke with them about the fact that it's in such a huge box because like it's just literally one keycap in a 500 gram mailer it doesn't really sound like there's terribly much protection in there but look it's an aluminium keycap with enamel I'm not too worried but supposedly the newer uh, way of packaging this does actually have more padding in it so do please be rest assured if you are going to get any keycaps from Hibby, uh, from Keyboard Treehouse that they will be a little bit better uh, protected than rattling around and this is also uh, what we're going to have a look at as well so you know it should be pretty straightforward we're just checking out a keycap but it's the first keycap that I will have ever seen in person from Hibby, uh, Hibby MX I believe um, which is basically uh, an Australian keycap producing company. They're also branching out now and doing a lot more uh, keyboard related products so that's really really exciting for them. Oh no there is actually some paper but it's not really very effective. Uh, <laughs> just it's one sheet of crumpled up Right, yeah. So there's there's the packaging. There's the the Hibby with the uh, well star asterisk. I don't know whatever you want to call it. And there's the keycap in there. So it's in a little baggie inside the baggie. I guess it's not absolutely necessary, but uh, there's a QR code on the back there. You know, snap that if you want to, if it will work for you through the screen. I do like that they've got this uh, bag which does have. The, the press snap so you don't actually have to tear it open and it's resealable and let's check out this keycap so uh, OKPNG okay is actually the person who won the competition with their design and uh, yeah it represents the uh, the server quite nicely I suppose because well Australia and uh, Bunnings snag stands are, are really popular wow that's got a Good amount of weight to it so there you go there it is it is a snag sandwich bit of uh, two two triangles representing the piece of bread with the uh, the sausage stuffed in the middle and a bit of mustard or whatnot sauce on top in a lovely sort of green which is very similar to the color from the local hammer barn here Bunnings uh, there's the uh, the actual hibby start at the back filled in and then underneath it says Hibby and Snag Keys which is the name of the Australian Mechanical Keyboard Discord so there you go 
that's really really beautiful I'm gonna have to uh, make some kind of new artisan holder for it I think uh, because my current two that I've got on the side here are already occupied with the uh, the Opera House one and the uh, Shrimp on the Barbie one so gonna have to jazz up something I think in the near future and that will live with that which is pretty cool now I want to show you this uh, thing it's not directly keyboard keyboard related but I love it so much that I had to uh, show it in this video so a friend of mine has recently launched a company uh, on his own which is called Cabbage Works uh, it's basically a play because his discord name is at the moment called Cabbage he started learning leather working by himself and he has produced this gorgeous key ring okay in leather so it's uh, I think one side's kangaroo leather and I think I can't remember what the other side was it might be vegan leather I'm not hundred percent sure but he's really keen in sustainability so the packaging you know this is all recyclable right um, you know with the twine being natural material and whatnot um, it's a fairly straightforward keychain there cabbage works is uh, the stamp there but the reason why I'm showing this and how it's related is dum 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 he made it for me specifically uh, because it's his version of the actual snag stand as it were so you know he didn't want to rip off the actual logo from that uh, design from ok.png but there you go in a lovely dark green with uh, the snag sandwich in the middle and that really nifty stitching so yeah I don't actually know the site name for Cabbage Works yet you might be able to google it you might not be able to I honestly don't know but do keep an eye out on it um, he, he does do commission items as well and he plans on also selling patterns if you want to make your own leather products too so shout out to Cabbage from Cabbage Works thank you very much for this gorgeous key ring uh, it's actually almost too good and it's a shame to use it and shove it in a pocket or a bag because it's just going to get all scuffed up and bent and damaged so you know you want to use it but at the same time you don't want to use it right maybe for if I'm in a situation that uh, it'll go into a pocket and and be loved and cared for in the way that it should be rather than being abused <laughs> So that's it. Thanks very much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed having a look-see of uh, a Hebe artisan if you've never seen one before. Um, yeah, very straightforward, very well executed, nice and clean, very even coloring. Should be good. I do have another one that will be coming from Hebe shortly. It is the uh, New South Wales Waratah uh, keycap. I don't know what the anticipated schedule is going to be for when that comes. But of course, when that comes along, we'll have a look at that uh, and check it out too. So, ugh, make sure that's going to actually snap in. There we go. So that's it. Thanks very much for coming along, checking out the video. And of course, as usual, until next time, happy clacking.